everyone, welcome back. My name is Jean and today we have a little summer project. We're gonna make some, some people call them fairy sticks and some people call them garden sticks. We're gonna make them. So I'll just show you what we're all gonna need. And I, I went two different ways. I bought a kit. I have quite a bit of my own stuff, but I bought a kit to show you how you can buy a kit too. But you will need these threaded rods. This is a, the one foot. And you need them, they need to be eight, if I can get my camera, yeah, there you go, eight thirty seconds in the diameter. So these ones I got at Menards. And let me see, the price on these at Menards was, find my right receipt here. They were $1.40 each for these. And then you will need the little hex nuts for them. And again, the 830 seconds right down there, 830 seconds. So a pack of these was, well, these ones I think came from, okay, so these came from Fleet Farm, so I'll get the price in a minute. Okay, and that's all from Menards I got, okay. You can also get these, if you have a Fleet Farm by you, you can get them at Fleet Farm, and you can get even up to a three foot, okay. I'm not going to use a three foot today. I would use the three foot like if you want to put it in like your vegetable garden. I'm going to put mine just inside some flower pots outside. So I'm not going to make the big three footer. I may make some later on, but I haven't. I don't think I need them yet. This over there, theirs are for the, the three footer is $2.47 at Fleet Farm. And let me see what the heck that's. I know they're not too expensive. Let's see, these are $1.89 for a pack of five in there. So you could do five. You need to have those. And then any kind of these drawer pull knobs. This one I had in my stash for quite some time. I think I picked that up at like a, a secondhand store or something like that. So I don't know what the price is on that one. But I did pick up one to, just so you guys can, you know, you know, get an idea of how much these things cost. They can be rather pricey. This one was $4.00. At Fleet Farm, I picked it up, but that'll give you set when the sun hits that. That's going to give you a really nice shine. And then what you need is a whole bunch of these what they call big hole spacers. Now most beads will not work. I I don't have any beads in my stash that will not work. Your big twenty mil beads will not work. You pretty much need to use these and these only for it. And I have this is my stash. I have quite a bit. And I also have some that look like this. And I have some that look like this, that have a big enough hole, as you can see. So we're going to use that, and then we'll use their kit. So I did buy some things off of Amazon, because that's where most people can get stuff. So I bought a pack of the threaded rods, and they, it's a pack of... Oh, let's use them all. Let's see, seven pieces, and they were $10. A little bit more if you buy them off of Amazon. You can get them, like I said, these were $1.47. Maybe not a little bit more, because these seven of them, pretty close about the same, we'll see. Okay, that was a quick math in my head. Okay, there's the ones from Menards. And if you go to Menards, they're red tip. They have red paint on the tip, are the size you need. And then, so then I got a pack of those off of Menards, so you can, you can get them off of Menards. And then I bought a kit. So this kit was $19.99, and there's 70, 72 pieces all together. I'll show you what's all in them. I think you can make about six, four of them you can make. And the beads are stuck down in there. Okay, so they give you a big selection of the big hole beads, just like I have here. So they give you quite a bit of them and we'll make one using their kit and we'll make one using mine. Then you get these charms already. I don't have any of these charms in my stash, so I'm going to have to get some and make some, but these are, we won't need those. I'm not sure what those are, but they give you a whole bunch of different ch silver charms and they have this big hole like a barrel, 
a barrel, um, I don't know if it's called a barrel, it's, it's a bead or something like that it's called. It's got the loop on the side where you hang your charms. I just started looking for some of them to buy some. And then this looks like just a plain old bead. You have a couple of just be be silver beads there. And then you got all sorts of silver charms. Trees, wings, looks like a donkey or a bunny. What do you think? Let me see. What does that look like? Okay. I'll say a bunny. Um, so you got all sorts of these charms that you can use to hang off. So let's put those aside. And then that comes with the doorknob, but that doesn't matter. And then you get four different of the drawer pull knobs of these in different colors. So and they all come with this, the screw, but you don't need the screw for this because we're not putting them on a drawer. You get a green one. So you get all sorts of different colors. So there's a green. So if you if you don't if you're not a crafter, you don't have a stash like I do, you can buy these kits. Now I know on Timu, I think they had kits, but I do know you can buy these already done on Timu. I I don't not sure how much they are. I just quick was glancing. I mean, I'm one that I have I have a stash, I'll make my own. Okay, so you get all these pretty colors. You get the red. This is all like a tealy blue, yellow, green. Okay, also, I'm going to glue. You don't have to glue, but I'm I'm going to be gluing the knob onto the top, and I'm going to uh, screw the nut down because I feel like over time that nut might unscrew itself. If And if you got little kids playing around, they take these and play with them. You wouldn't want them to, to get the beads off. Those are Those are fairly small, you know. And they may think they look like candy. I'm just going to glue the bottom on and the top on to make it a little bit more secure. Like if I have kids playing around with them and stuff like that. So the first thing you need to do is we need a hex nut, which I don't know. They didn't give you those in the kit. Let me see. I don't see them in here. I'll have to look that up later to see if they... Or is that what these, oh, they give you these rubber stoppers, which are, that's what these are for. And they're going to be impossible to put on. Oh, gosh. Yeah, they give you these, like, silicone stoppers. And they give you, yeah, four of them. But I don't know, will a bead slip through that? Because so they, okay, so they give you this little, instead, they give you this little silicone stopper. I don't think I want to use that. We are going to use the hex nuts, which I have some of. I prefer using using them. I think they're a little bit safer. Let's take two out because we're going to make at least two of these. Now, the first thing is we're just going to thread it on and kind of leave as much space as you think it, you need to go into the dirt. If I can get this on, I'm going on crooked. I got my other one back here that I was using before. Oh, my goodness. Okay. I think we got it. I'm going to use this silver match is better it doesn't look like it's dirty just put this on as far let me bring us down a little bit it look like we're a pie how much do you want to stick in the dirt how much do i left out this is a foot yeah, 12 inches so how much do i want to put it down into the dirt maybe about that much let me see what that is maybe about three inches so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring it up just a little bit, put some glue underneath, and then bring it back down. So I'm just going to put, I like this glue. I don't know. I use this for all my beatable pens and everything. This, and I don't notice any, notice, what, notice any odor when I'm using it. So just put some on the thread. Okay. And then back it down over the top of it. Okay, and then we'll let that do its thing. Okay, so then all you're going to do is we're going to use their kit first. So let's open up their beads. Let's move some of this out of our way. I'm worried that 
you know, how strong these would be over time. If like the weather and the sun and stuff would deteriorate these little silicone things. I'm not sure. I've never used these before. I've always used the hex nuts. I know I've seen kits that come with the hex nut instead, but, um, I mean, you can, you can try using them. We'll do one with these and then I can test it over the summer to see how they do last. Cause I just don't know. They, I just don't know if I trust those. Okay. Now let's just put on, and you can put on multiple color. We're going to use, I think the red doorknob. So I think we're just going to put, like I said, I'm sticking with their kit. That's the one we might use. So let's just start and just thread on. I'm going to try to hold it where we can see how we're threading things on. And when I get about halfway, I think I will put on a charm. See, and here I don't have quite as many colors to work with. So I'm just going to probably just do all multi colors on this one and not no color scheme because they really don't give you enough of one color to stick with a color scheme. If you want to do it that way, so I'm just going to go ahead and just, I don't know how this is going to work for four of them, you know, because let's see how many we use. Let me see, what did I say? We got, how many inches do we have left? So I want to go down, we have about nine inches, so I want to go four and a half, and then put a charm in there somewhere around there. These are really pretty once you get them in your pot. Bring one in there. Let's go right here. About one more and then we'll put on put this one on. Okay. Now remember it's gonna go this way, so we gotta put our charm on the right way. What do we want? How about this little like little fairy girl? So you're gonna put her and you can put as many of these on as you want. I'm going to put one, actually, I think that spacing is not what I'm going to like. So let's take a couple back off. Then we'll put her on. Because I'm going to put one, I think, right on top. So I'm trying to even my spacing. Then that's just up to you. So I put one, well, we could just count. I put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven beads so far. And then I put the little fairy down. So let's just put on. More of these. When the sun hits this, this is the main thing that when the sun hits really sparkles. So this is your main thing that you want to get, you know, and that's going to like this one here is going to show from the sides too. This one's like really pretty. This is the one from Fleet Farm. This one here has metal like silver on the side. So you're not going to see anything from the side, but it's, it's, this one is glass i believe this one says it's acrylic and i can tell by the weight of it it's not really near this is a glass one though which if you look in a lot of your like secondhand stores you probably can find a lot of these old drawer pulls you know i i, I go every once in a while and just like i look for things like this i may not use them right away but i look for them and put them in my stash let's see oh, this is a pretty one that'll sparkle pretty More of a solid color one there. We did a solid. Let's do this one. Oh, I like this one. I think we'll put that one. Now you got to remember, I'm putting the red on top. Let's see how far down is that going to go when you screw it on. So I can probably get at least two more on. Oh no. I'm back here. Yeah. Slippery fingers. I like putting these in my pots all during the summer just add some really nice color to to your pots okay that's probably all we're gonna be able to get that might even be too much because we have to get the another charm on top okay what do we have that kind of goes with get the tree since i'm putting these in my husband's pots by his my husband has passed away it's been uh, about ten and a half years now I have a really pretty granite bench that was given to me by his side of family. 
And on each side of it, I have some really pretty pots that I flower every summer. And I have uh, solar lights that I put in it. So I'm going to put these in it. And now this one I'm going to use the, it's a, like the double wings. So I'm going to put this one on top, which is going to be too much. So I'm going to take a bead out. Let's see if I got that on there right. I think I want it hanging this way. So now I have that one and the little fairy. Now let's see. Okay, I'm going to put, I think I need another. Let's try this silver bead on top. Let's see if that gives me enough to screw this down. I think it will. Oh, that's about perfect. Okay, can we see that, guys? Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Let me put it down now this way. So I'm going to glue that on top. I think I like that. And you got the little... And you can put as many charms as you want, the dangle ones. So let's get some glue and glue this. I'm just going to put some inside the hole here. Don't glue your fingers down. Get that bead back on. Come on, get on there. And you can always wait to add your glue on the bottom one to make sure that you have an, an you know enough up here. So you can glue at the end if you want. Let's put it on tight. Okay, now let's see if I can hold it. And you got the two charms dangling. And then you have this. So when the sun hits that, that'll be really pretty. And that should be more, I think I got more than enough. I might not have enough, but I can, I think that'll be good for that pot. So you have to adjust this yourself. The how, mu how far down do you want to sink it? How much do you want to show? I think that's pretty okay let's put this aside this is their kit okay i am going to use i think i'm going to use oh my gosh this one sparkles really well it's sitting off to the side but i think i'm going to use this one look at that sparkle when that sun hits that it's going to be gorgeous okay put that over there got a little glue on i can feel on my finger this will be okay it'll be the first it won't be the first time Okay, so I'm going to work with clear. Okay, and let's do one of their, I, I'll test these. And see how they hold up over the summer. So I'm going to start it there. I can always push it up or push it down some more. All right, do we want to go with a certain color scheme? You know, it's kind of nice just being able to, um, you know, just put on whatever you want. Okay, well, I do have to use their charms, though, because I don't have any. I'm gonna. I'm looking for the barrel beads, and I, I have plenty of charms I can add on. I'm just looking for barrel beads, and then I'll probably come back on and show you how to make another day, another video. Let's do flowers on this one. So we have a sunflower. And what's this? I don't even know what that is. Oh, yeah, that's that little bunny thing. Oh, gosh. I'm going to say it's a bunny, and he just loved the bunnies in the backyard all the time. So I'm going to go with that. He would, and he, we had a chipmunk. He named Chippy. It was just hilarious. And we always knew it was the same one because he had this injury on him on his head. Like a little scar type thing. Okay, let's push that aside. I'm going to use these two on this one. And then we're going to know we're going to use some of these on this one. Okay. This one. So I'm not going to glue this one down. I think it's pretty tight. But I, like I said, I'll see how this over at the end of the summer, we'll discuss this one and we'll see how that, what I'm worried about is like if the sun's going to deteriorate it or anything like that. Okay. Oh, I got this one. Put that on there. Kind of go with that little prettiness. And let's take this one. We got this little gem you get to see from the side will be really pretty and then, okay and 
really pretty dark. You see me going with like a blue theme because he did like the blues. Okay, so I think I'm going to do that. Let's do this multicolor one. It's really pretty. Okay, so far. Ooh. Put all those on. And I'm going to go because I, I think I went up a little further this time. Oh, no, I guess I was pretty good. I think that was like loving beads I did. Ooh, this one's kind of pretty. This one's really pretty. Let's put that on. I see my camera's freezing up again, so let me see if I make sure we're in the camera yet. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Is that pretty so far? Just imagine how that's going to sparkle in the sunlight. Look at just a plain. It's not really white. It's more of a, this one looks more white. Got white to put in the middle. I think I'm going to go with another one of these. Not pink though, maybe. Here's a clear one. Okay, I could put a crown on there. I won't do a crown. But I got a crown. I don't know where that came from. Where I got those. Oh, here's a really pretty dark blue wood flowers on. Let's put that. And we'll put on. Let's put on the cute little bunny. I'm going to call it a bunny. It kind of looks like a bunny, so we're going to go with the bunny. So now we have that so far. Okay, there's where we're at so far. But look at those colors. Yeah, you can definitely tell I'm using the, a lot of blues in this one. Okay, where are we? I'm, 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 ooh, kind of a red, white, and blue one there. Kind of like red, white, and blue there. So many to choose from. I don't know if that'll fit. It fits. So I just got all the sparkles on it. It fits. It fits. And here's like a really light blue. Not pretty. Okay. Like I said, you can just, it doesn't even, like, you don't even have to match your colors on this. Is this going to be in, in your garden or? or your planters, or wherever you're going to put it. You don't need anything special. Okay, let's see what we've got so far. Another multicolor one, maybe. Probably, let's get a, let's see, we got the kind of, I'll hold this one in my hand for a second. Let's see if I want that one. What is this? Ooh, that's a, Big B, but I don't want to put that in the top. Now, that would be something more I'd put it about in the middle because it's a little bit bigger. Put that off to the side. You might have time to make another one. Okay, let's put that one back in there. Hmm. Do I have a blue one like this? I got a green one. Put that off to the side. See if I have like a blue one like that. That one's really pretty. I mean, this stash has been built up over a couple years now. Every time, you, if you watch my haul videos, videos, you see me get them quite a bit. The big hole, and I usually refer to them as big hole beads on my videos. This is another big one. I'm going to, you put that aside for another. There's so many, I see some colors in here I want to use, but they're not for this one. And they're really, really pretty. Okay, that might be it. And now let's put on our, looks like a sunflower. And then see, oh, we might need, oh, let's, let's top it with a silver one like we did on that one. Let's do that. We'll just top it with a silver one. And then that should be enough to screw onto the top. Perfect. Let me move this off to the side so I can get this screwed on here. 
see if I can see. You can see what we have going on here. I know when you're dealing with these long things, they're hard to look at. Okay, so let's get some glue into this. I don't want all my beads to fall off. Stay on there. All our hard work there, right? Like I said, I just take them, put the glue right in the... There, it wouldn't come off the end. I think I'm getting up down to the end of that one. Oh, I have three more bottles there. I keep a good stash of that. So I use that a lot for all my beatable pens and pokey tools. And you'll feel the resistance so you'll know when it's on nice and tight. Get my dangle to dangle. And there we have. I mean, you could put these, in, you don't have a garden, that's fine. You could put these inside the house too by the window. It would be really, really pretty. I think the next one we'll put three three charms on if I have three that I like here. I know I didn't have very many, so I didn't want to use very many. I wanted to make sure I had enough for our demonstration until I can get enough supplies to make some. So there is that one. There is that one so far. And those pretty. And that'll sparkle like, I mean, look at the sparkle, you know, just from the camera here. Beautiful. All right, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Make another one. We have time. They don't take that long. I'm not making that three-footer, though, yet. Maybe after I get the dangles, I'll make the three-footer. All right, let's go back. Let's just add all these in from the kit. Because I'm going to use them anyways. Okay. Now, let's see what we have left. We got... Looks like a clover, a tree, a leaf. We, those go together, kind of. Here, these all go together. They don't have to go together. That's just me. Okay, I'll show you what I'm going to put on on this one. And see, they only give you just all, they're just silver charms. I have, of course, colored charms I would use. But that'll be another video. We will actually make these. I will show you how easy it is to make these so that if you want to make your own. But like I said, I have, I do not have a stash of those yet. All right, first thing we want to do, I like that green one here. Let's see if I have more of that. Okay, we need a hex nut. I thought I had one out. Here we go. Put it on where you want. And this one, I'll wait till the end and we'll glue it. So I can show you that. You can wait till the end. That way, if you don't have enough room on top, you can back it back down and have a little bit of room. Again, I'll probably do about the three inches. At least to start out with. Okay, so let's go with. Oop, that one don't fit. Now that looks like a big hole, but it doesn't doesn't fit. It's got this one's got like a plastic insert in there, so those ones won't work for this project. Let's put some of these on. This is the fun of it. So I have some of these like little ring things. Let's see if they, they work. They're just like a little. And they will work too. They look more like a like a spacer bead. Which is, you know, what they might kind of be. That one's pretty. Okay, let's put on. Because these ones will shine really nice. Because this silver will sh really shine. Pretty, like just playing with it, spinning it. Okay, let's put down a gem one, too. No, I don't like those together. Okay. There was one down here before I see. Where was that? Let's put this green one in here. I don't care if the color is well. I really like that one. Let's put that. And then we'll stick one of our charms, put just the tree, the tree on there. We'll make this one like really multicolor. This one, we, the first one we did kind of has a lot of reds in it. And then I did stuck more blue. And this one I think we're just going to use um, pretty much every color. I have some of these, like these are smaller. One of those on. If they work, if they work. Put another one of these little rainbow looking things on. Got 
all sorts of different things in my stash. I've got that. Oh, let's do this really lime greeny looking one. It's really pretty. Just trying to see about where, where my halfway mark is going to be. You could just kind of get lost in these beads because they're so, so pretty. Okay, what's, let me see this one. I'm going to put this one right about the middle. That's a little bit bigger. Put that one right about in there. Use this to measure again to see if I want to put another couple more beads and then we'll put another charm up. Wait, this is kind of uh, too dark together. Let's I don't want that together. I want something with a little color together here. All right, let's put on the next one. So now we have the two charms dangling. All right, what do we got? Oh, I don't think we used the yellow one yet. Let's throw a yellow one on there. And I have some of these. These are all like a acrylic or something, plastic. Put that on there. Oh. Kind of same type bead as that one, except that one has the metal in the middle. I think we need another one of these pretties over here. What color did I use down there? Purpley pink. It's a dark, dark, dark blue. Very dark blue. That one's actually black. I haven't used a pink yet. How about this like really multicolor one? Got little flowers all over it. Do we need more sparkle up on this end? Oh, we kind of got a pink one there. Let's not do that one. Clear on I think one more and then we'll throw the charm on. Purple one's pretty. Okay, let's throw the charm on, see if we're where we're at. And where is my what am I gonna use on it? I think what do you want to use? Maybe yellow, guys? Use the yellow one? Okay, so we'll need one more on top. So I like putting that silver on top, I think. That silver ball. That should be enough space. Okay, yep. Okay, let's get this out of our way. I'll throw this stuff in here so I don't lose it. Bring these forward, put you guys back. So now we have to glue this one down carefully. This one I'll for sure be keeping an eye on over the summer because like I said, I'm not sure about that silicone. Oh no, this one has a this one here. I'll be keeping an eye on that one over the summer because I am not sure about that silicone. I just have feel like you know the weather might the sun and everything okay put that on there tight okay now we have to screw this one down so let's bring it back just a little bit put our glue like i said you don't have to glue it if you don't want to i'm just more for safety reasons that i'm putting the glue on like I said, if you have a little kid that might play with it. Put it right up against there, and then you have it. Okay. Let's see if I can turn it. Put 
feels pretty though. It's gonna really sparkle in the, when the sun, if it's in your plant like this. So like I said, you could take your little stick and kind of put it in there first and see if, if you don't have that many beads, really you, you can put it deep, as deep as you want into your pot. If you're using like taller pots, maybe you only want just a little bit like this much showing that you don't need to, you don't need to show the whole thing. I know my pots are bigger, so I'm going to, you know, I want mine about like this, but if I had smaller indoor pots, I may not have as, as much. And now I didn't find any at the stores that were shorter than the one. And if you have somebody that can cut them, they can cut them too. I, no, I, I, I can't cut them. So. But like I said, the, these these bigger ones, the two foot and the three foot, would be really nice in your garden. And then maybe you could hook on like you know a, a thing that says tomatoes or whatever. I'll probably make some um, labeled garden stakes later on too. I had a request for those for the garden stakes and stuff. But so this is what we did, guys. So what do you think about those? How do you like those? Those are so cute, aren't they? They're going to be so much fun. I can't take a picture now because there's no pot plants out there yet. You know, so it wouldn't be, it wouldn't be pretty. All right. And you can see that was very easy to do. Like I said, you can buy your own stash. You can buy kits now and you can buy them already made. I don't know what the quality is. I did not pick up one from Timu. Um, when I seen it, I, I can't remember what the price was on it because for me, I have all the equipment in the house. I just noticed something that these are shorter than it's a little bit shorter than yes what is i'm not sure where those two came from but i have two of them that are a little bit shorter they're still yeah they're not even quite 11 inches i don't know if those are there had to be in the kit so i have four yeah four of them so those are in the kit so they're not quite uh 12 inches the ones that were in the kit so and this is one of them. So where these are true, the other ones are true 12 inch. Yep. But that doesn't really matter. An inch or so isn't gonna gonna matter. All right, let's bring this down. And I hope you guys enjoyed this one. And if you have any other requests like this that you want to see, just go ahead and leave it in the description below. And I will work on making it for you. As always, guys, I will see you later on. Bye guys.